Uh, today I just uh, came to ZSL to give a talk uh, on a more tiger conservation projects that the Phoenix Fund ran together with the ZSL and um, uh, the effort we put to conserve uh, more tigers through anti-poaching protection and uh, environmental education projects. Together with the Zettel Cell and some other an international NGOs, Phoenix Fund supports uh, the teams of anti-poaching inspectors that work both on the protected areas in the Tiger Range and uh, also uh, outside of the protected areas, and which would be the response. The patrolling of these areas would be the responsibility of the provincial hunting management department, whose teams we are supporting as well. Uh, the teams of um, law enforcement. Uh, Inspectors uh, are provided with fuel, field expenditures, um, vehicles and uh, some other equipment that they need to actually go out in the forest and detain poachers. Um, also since 2010, together with Data Cell and the Wildlife Conservation Society uh, Russia program, we've been implementing MIST project, which is the monitoring of the anti-poaching patrols. Um, I hope that they would realize that a small team of people, like at Phoenix Fund, there are only six members who have different backgrounds, like in global economics as myself, and uh, to history and biology, and the small team of people can do really big changes uh, trying to conserve um, such a huge interesting animal as, as the Amur tiger and I would like them to realize that it is possible for one person, even for one person, to, to do such work and uh, to make a contribution to conservation if they would be interested in it and there is a hope for, for the survival of the Amur tigers after, after the numbers been dropped by about 40 individuals that were left in 1930s and um, thanks to um, conservation efforts by local and international NGOs the Amur tigers made a spectacular comeback in 1990s when uh, the population were estimated at uh, about 500 tigers. So there is a hope that we can really conserve and save the more tigers in future.